Hi guys, this is Trilock here with an another of his great tutorials. Uh, let's see, oh, this pencil doesn't work. And I don't have any, oh, I have something here. Okay, let's try to write with this. So, uh, 230, let's say 230, okay. Okay, we can start this tutorial. So, hi guys and welcome to the tutorial on functions and uh, this is an introductory tutorial on functions and uh, let's get right into it. Um, I always say that, but oh well. So what are functions used for? Uh, they're used for clearing up your code and for uh, making it easier to work with the code. So let's, um, let's see what a function looks like. We've actually been dealing, oops, let's put the includes first include iostream and using namespace std standard namespace and we've actually been dealing with a function all along int main it's actually the declaration of a function the function is called main and it returns the return values in the integer and that's why we put return zero here right and here we can put get ch but once again don't forget to in include the relevant library so this one ah uh, okay so now that we have that out of the way our function first we're gonna make a function void add and once again void is the type of return uh, void is a pseudo return type that which means that void actually does a function of type void doesn't actually return anything and so it basically doesn't throw anything back to the function that called it and uh, so since we have the void add here let's see we can call this function since we made the function already and this function is going to do something and it's going to say add called and we're going to have a new line at the end of the file oops okay so um one second actually i'll be right with you and i'm back and okay i hope we haven't wasted any time so uh int main and we can call add by specifying this add and these curly bra braces and wi which um, where we put the initializer list or well the parameters actually for the function but since we don't have any parameters for this function we don't put anything in here so now when we call add and we compile and run this program and we call it functions uh, we will actually get a console application which says add call but say we actually wanted to, this function to add two numbers. So let's declare an instance of the two numbers. Int number one here and int number two. And you remember, Xiao, uh, please, please enter two numbers. And see in number one, uh, number two. Yeah, this is all basic, right? You remember this stuff? So now we have these two uh, numbers, number one and number two. And now what, what are we gonna do with these numbers is we're gonna pass them to the function. So this function, we're gonna pass them. So number one and number two, oops, number two. So now since we pass them to the function, we have to change the function, well, we have to put the declaration of these uh, here. So they're going to be int number and this is what um, the, uh, here we put the name that they're going to be used inside the function. So number one, int number two. So what this statement tells us is that uh, this function add accepts two parameters, number one and number two. And it doesn't have to be, we can say just uh, number and number two and it will be fine because well it accepts two integers basically and once it gets those two integers it gives them the names of number and number two respectively 
So number one, uh, which we pass to the functions, will become number inside the function. And when we pass it back, we want to return number. If So that could be one. So since I'm going to return something, I'm going to change the type, the return type to integer. And I'm going to put a return statement. And number, number, sorry, plus number two. So I take these two numbers that have been put, passed to the functions, number one and number two, and probably I should have called them differently. So here I'll take uh, addend and int addend two, two. So it will be easier for you to di see the difference. Addend plus addend two. So he, this is what they're going to be called inside the functions, these two numbers that have been passed. And probably I sh for, the, for my first, the first tutorial, I should have just put 5 and 6. So simply, we're going to put into the Cout stream the result of adding 5 and 6, because this returns the result of adding 5 and 6, and then we put it straight into the Cout stream. So please enter two numbers, 45, 35. Add called and uh, let's see what happened. Oops. So let's try that again. Four, 35, 24. Add called 11. Oh, of course, because I, that doesn't have anything to do because I've called the function add five and six. Now once again I'm going to call the, the function with number 1 and number 2 which I got from the user so that this actually makes sense. So 24, 25, add called we get 49. Once again and if we put, uh, if we put 46 and 547 we get 593 in the result because this one returns 543. So this is a pretty neat way of thinking about functions and how they work. And also function can return, I'm going to quickly change this to return. Uh, so now I take the address of two functions. And the difference here is uh, we'll call the int result here. And uh, let's, we'll take that result. So we're taking three now. We're taking the uh, reference of add and add and two and result. It's basically useful for um, changing types outside a function inside that function, but we won't go get into it much. So add number one, number two, result. And now we can say result equals uh, number one plus number two. And uh, I think this C O oh, add and one, add and one, add and plus add and two. So what we're actually doing is we're uh, sorry, and here we put this. So we can call this before the C out stream. And then uh, in the C out stream, we can just see out the result. Result and so please enter two numbers, 25, 35, and the result gives us 60 because this function changed the value of result because we passed it by reference. Out the result is declared here, but we changed the the value of result because we passed it by reference. So. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and more will come soon. Thank you.